Hey guys, Buffing Game Bad today bringing our video, and today we're going over all the weapons in the Modern Warfare 2 trailer, which was just released today, the reveal trailer. So you see the trailer in the background. I'm gonna go through all the weapons, show screenshots from where they are in game, as well as their real life counterparts, and we'll go through some hidden ones here that I found with what's going to be the weapon vault or the new gunsmith here. So I'll show them in no particular order, and if you spot something in the game that you think I might have missed. Chances are I will have covered it, but I can't, I'm not gonna go back and show every screen cap as to where they are. We're gonna see multiple weapons um, throughout the trailer that are the same. So I'll show a few screen caps from them here and there, but you should be able to recognize most of them when you see them repeated. We do see a lot of weapons repeating, and um, there's definitely some hidden ones here with the vault pack that we're gonna take a look at at the very end of the trailer. So. Starting off right off the bat, the trailer opens and we see what looks like an ACR. However, a cl upon closer inspection, this is actually a Scar Light or a Mark 16 by Eppen Hurstel firing the 556 by 45 millimeter NATO round. So this is one of the weapons that was not included in Modern Warfare 2019. We had the Scar Heavy or the Mark 17 firing 762 by 51 millimeter NATO. This is the Scar L, so it's its counterpart with the caliber conversion to 556 by 45 NATO. That obviously leads me to believe that if we have a SCAR L in this game, we'll have the conversion for the SCAR 17 as well with the caliber upgrade. But this is the SCAR light. You'll see that not only in the first few screenshots here of the trailer, as well as multiple other times throughout the trailer as well. Next up, one of the pistols I spotted here appears to be either a Glock 17 or even, shout out to Big Mike, uh, pointing this one out to me, this CZP10, which is a Czech pistol very hard to tell with these pistols especially because we don't have really good shots uh close-up detailed ones of them so it really could be anything um i'm not a, really a as much as a pistol expert as i am other weapons so let me know what you guys think of the pistols in the trailer there's a couple of shots of, of pistols here and i'm gonna say one of them definitely looks like a glock 17 and this first one here in the beginning of the trailer could definitely be a cz p10 Next up, we're going to see the AAC Honey Badger return. Last time we saw the Honey Badger was in COD Ghost. Now, this is going to be a Honey Badger. We're going to see Ghost carrying this as well as some other operators uh, throughout the trailer here. And you can tell it's a Honey Badger just by the profile of the weapon as well as the fact that it does have uh, M-Lock handguard on it. Now, a lot of weapons have M-Lock handguard. However, this just definitely looks more consistent with a Honey Badger. Now, you're going to see it. What looks like suppressed and unsuppressed here in the trailer, as well as some or some suppressed versions with the integrally suppressed attachment um, and some of the promo art, which I'll try and throw up here as well. But this is the AAC Honey Badger making a return here to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Like I said, last time we saw this weapon was Call of Duty Ghost. So making a comeback here, this is going to be able to fire most likely, I'm assuming, uh, 300 blackout as well as uh, there probably is a conversion for 5x6x45 NATO for this weapon as well. But you'll see the Honey Badger throughout the trailer here. You can tell just by, like I said, the profile of the weapon, the unlock handguard, as well as the uh, pistol stabilizing brace, which is unique to the Honey Badgers. Next up, we're going to see shots of what is the MP7 when they're when the operators are climbing up what appears to be the stationary oil rig in the middle of the ocean. You're going to see a shot of an MP7 there by HK. Again, this is another returning weapon, um, HK submachine gun. You're also going to see in that same shot an AUG, what looks like an AUG A3 because of the top mounted Picatinny rails. Really brief shot of this, so you don't have much detail on it, but it is an AUG for sure. Um, just again, by the profile of the weapon, it looks like it has a digital camo on there. And again, I'm going to go ahead and assume it's the AUG A3 just because of the top Picatinny rail on it, which is a full-length rail. Now, in that same sequence, we do see what looks like a SIG MPX. Now, the SIG MPX, not to be confused with the MCX, the MCX Virtus is actually a the assault rifle of the M13 we saw in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Now, the MPX, again by Sig Sauer, is a submachine gun or a machine pistol PDW, which is capable of firing the 9x19 uh, Parabellum round, as well as I believe it takes a 40 Smith & Weston as well. So the mag, the mag well on this and the magazine looks um, similar. Everything with this looks similar to the MPX. It could also be um, some sort of M4 or even a Honey Badger variant with that 9x19 Parabellum um, conversion, just like we saw for the M4 in Modern Warfare 2019. Again, really hard to tell. This is the only shot, I believe, that we have of it here in the trailer. 
Next up, there's one shot here of Ghost with what appears to be the SPR or the M24SWS or the XM2010, which again is just an upgraded version of the M24. So this appears to be another return weapon, the SPR206, I believe it is from Modern Warfare 2019. This is going to be returning here, the M4SWS, with what looks like one of the unique chassis, very similar to what we saw in Modern Warfare 2019. Next up, we have a shot of one of my favorite rifles here being the AK-105. So the AK-105, this rifle is a more modernized version of the AK platform, firing 5.45 by 39 millimeter. So instead of the 7.62 by 39 millimeter, now the 105 is actually the carbine variant of the AK-74, 74M. So it's essentially an AK-74 but with a 12 and a half inch barrel, I believe is what the barrel length is on this. So it's a shorter barrel variant of the AK-74. Um, very beautiful looking weapon. It looks like you have the polymer buttstock and what looks like a polymer tan handguard on this weapon. Now I'm assuming you're going to have conversion attachments to turn this into a Zenico AK-105, aka the Alpha AK. So I'm really excited for that. AK-105, Alpha AK is what makes sense. And we'll talk more about that here later in the video. But we do see the shot of what is the AK-105. 5.45 by 39 millimeter again convergence probably like i said to the 7.62 by 39 as well so we'll be able to make multiple ak variants out of this weapon next up a weapon that we see probably i would say the most throughout the trailer here is actually going to be the daniel defense m4 v7 so this is a newer version of the m4 uh, from daniel defense this is going to be one of the more prominent if not the most prominent uh rifle featured in the trailer um and again, we have a lot of shots of this with that full-length M-Lock handguard on it as well. We have different buttstocks that we see see it with throughout the trailer. One is the unique Daniel Defense buttstock. We also see a version with what looks like the M16 buttstock, which leads me to believe that per perhaps um, there will be unique gunsmithing conversions throughout the campaign. But this is definitely one of the shots you'll see here. This DDM4 V7 does have the... M4, or the, excuse me, the M16 buttstock on it, which, and it has a Russian OKP7 optic, which means it's just a mix of everything. So really weird looking gun, um, but definitely uh, cool to see the customization being featured. But the DDM4 V7 featured heavily throughout the trailer. Next up, we do have one very brief shot here of the M13, or as it's known in real life as the M Sig Sauer MCX Virtus. So the Sig Sauer MCX Virtus, Making a return again. This is the M13 from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Shout out to Outlaw185 for pointing this one out to me. This is one that I actually would have missed because I, when I slowed the trailer down, I didn't get a good um, shot of this. But you do have a shot of price with what looks like the definitely 100% the Sig Sauer MCX Virtus. You can tell just by, again, the profile of the weapon, the custom Sig Sauer MCX Virtus stock as well as the handguard on there. So we have the M13 or the M6 Virtus returning, which is good news for me because that's one of my favorite weapons from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Next up, we have one closing shot here of the, at the very end of the trailer, we have Soap with a Mark 14 Enhanced Battle Rifle or the EBR. Um, again, this is the, the Mark 14, the M14, the Mark 21. This is a, a bunch of different weapons. We've seen it throughout the Call of Duty life cycles, but again, we did see it as, I believe, the Mark 14 and Modern Warfare 2019. This is a with one of those modernized chassis for the weapon as well. So this is also making a return to the game. Now, next up, going to look at what we have, the first shots here of what appear to be the gunsmithing, which is going to be the um, the for the pre-order bundle. When you pre-order the vault pack, you get the FJX Cinder, first ever weapon vault. So just a little... Quick thing here, I'll, I'll go over the weapons that I see based on this screenshot that you can make, as well as my theories as to what the gunsmith is going to be. I know Exclusive Ace put out a video for more details. Go ahead and check out his channel. I didn't get a chance to listen to that yet, so you guys, I'll go listen to this after and see if I'm if I'm correct with this. But based on what I'm seeing here with this FJ, FJX uh, Cinder Weapon Vault screenshot, this is going to be basically like your salt mod of weapons. And here with this the FJX Cinder, the first ever weapon vault, we see the M4, and we see multiple different weapon conversions here, one of which being is going to be the AR-57, or the AR-57, but it's properly named the AR-57. So this, the AR-57, is going to be a 
uh, the unique upper, which we see that upper at the very top of the screen. And that's going to be a conversion. So you would, again, replace the upper receiver. And what this is going to do is, crazy enough, is going to allow this thing to um, take FNP90 ammunition. Allow it to take that FNP90 magazine. So the FN57 is going to be firing the 5.7 by 28 millimeters, same as the P90. And what it's going to do is you're going to replace the upper on this M4. And the, this upper receiver, you'll see, it's really hard to get a good shot of it here, but... That top one, there's basically like a, a space on the top of the weapon where that full leg Picatinny would be. And there is where the P90 magazine would fit in. So this is going to be an M4 P90 amalgamation, a.k.a. the AK or the AR-57. So you'll have an AR-15 platform, M4 platform, which now takes a P90 magazine firing the the custom ammunition for the FN57 by 28 millimeters. So this is awesome. This is really cool to see something like this in a game. I've never seen this in a game before in my life. So really cool to see the AR57. Next up, right below that upper receiver, we have another upper receiver, which appears to turn this into a belt-fed version of the M4, that being the Ares 16. So the Ares 16, again, is just exactly what I just said, is a belt-fed version of the M4 platform or the AR-15 platform. So this will allow you to um, not only A, take a magazine, but you will be able to uh, take a belt fed, take a belt fed ammo as well. So I'm not sure how it's going to work. There's a couple different different versions out there in real life. Um, this upper receiver, I'm assuming is going to change it to only being a belt fed 5.56 by 45 millimeter NATO light machine gun. So that's really cool to see the Ares 16, the belt fed M4 making its way to the game here with this upper receiver um, configuration. Next up, we have the Salient Arms Industry Gray Rifle. So if you look closely at this image, you'll see the Salient Arms Industry Gray Rifle uh, barrel and the handguard there as well. It's going to be right below the base M4. Um, that's a, obviously very easy to spot that as the Salient Arms Industry Gray Rifle um, barrel slash handguard there. So that's good to see that make a return. We did see that. Same barrel handguard as a blueprint for the M4 in Call of Duty Mono Warfare 2019. That being most, I think, recognizably the zip tie blueprint, as well as we saw it with some other ones there as well. So the Sailor Arms Industries Gray Rifle making its way back. Now we also have a different uh, handguard slash barrel option there with that fixed gas block. That being for the original, uh, the base M4 carbine. So the base M4 carbine. Um, is it does have the handguard, so it's the barrel attachment in there. It's the shorter barrel with that fixed front sight post on the gas block, so that also making its way into the game. Other things you can spot there look like drum magazines, um, bipod foregrips, and things like that there, so that's really cool to see. I also see one shot within this trailer when we're looking at the uh, pre-orders for this bundle, the Red Team 141. There's one shot of what looks like one of the operators holding an AR-10 platform conversion give, with the FJX Cinder um, blueprint weapons here. So all those weapons in the in the red team, 141 is going to be out of this FJX Cinder blueprint vault or the weapon vault. So I do see one operator there with what looks like an AR-10 platform. It's definitely configured to a sniper configuration with a straight mag, meaning it's going to be the 762 by 51 millimeter ammo conversion so it's going to be some sort of ar-10 could be an sr-25 aka the m110 sas so we'll have to see what that is again we only have one shot of it here in some brief promo art so those are all the weapons for the trailer let me know if i missed anything i think hopefully i got everything there so again we went through all those one more time we had the scar l the glock 17 and or the czp 10 pistol the AAC Honey Badger, MP7, the AUG A3, the Six Hour MPX, the M24 SWS, the AK-105 DDM4 V7, the Six Hour MCX Virtus. We also had the Mark 14 EBR. And for the weapon conversions from the FJX Cinder Weapon Bolt, what I can make out here, that being the AR-57, the Ares 16, the M4 Classic M4 Carbine, the Sailor Arms Industry Gray Rifle, and then we have some sort of AR-10 conversion. It could be an SR-25 with a different type of handguard. Have to wait and see what that's going to look like. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if I missed something. I'll be doing additional videos here the next few days, breaking down the trailer, as well as we should be getting some campaign gameplay tomorrow on June 9th. So let me know what you guys think of this. 
Let me know once again if I missed something. If you're enjoying the in-depth content here, we're going to have a lot of crazy weapon stuff going forward. Uh, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, this is Buckner Gaming, out.